project for tonight, just a very quick look into it, Dijon Tunes, because they've been staying consistent in price while everything else seems to be falling. Um, you can see they had a, a humongous jump up to over 2 ETH over here. Um, they've, they've got a drop in two weeks' time where you get Dynamite drop to you for each one you own. You can then use the Dynamite to either um, upgrade your character and make it more rare. Um, and the more Dynamite you can use it, I think, three times. And then you've got the rarest. So I do think that's why part of why we're seeing a pump over here. It's a team of uh, um, a bunch of uh, 20 to 30 year old guys. Uh, where's their website? There it is. Let's just have a look here. We've got 9,000 with 4,000 owners. So um, not the best owner ratio that we've seen. Huge amount of Ethereum traded, um, 11,000 ETH. Here you can see the artwork. Um, definitely brings back nostalgia for all of us, I'm sure. Um, they have said that they've been very careful to change core traits that, uh, in their opinion, it doesn't infringe on any copyrights. Um, I don't know enough about, like, Disney copyrights and, uh, you know, uh, all those studios and how they register them and what parts of the character they can copyright or not. Um, but that is something that is on my mind when I think of investing in these um, is, you know, do I potentially want to be sued by the creators of Tom and Jerry or whatever it may be? Um, you know, uh, I don't know that they can or not. I don't know enough about it, but I do think that that is, uh, that is something that's worth keeping in the back of your mind, not to fight it, but I do think that that is something that you need to be aware of. It looks very similar to um, stuff that is copyrighted, but again, they have said that they've done things to mitigate that. Again, I don't know enough about it to say whether they have or not. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Here you see their website, 8,888 tunes, minting rewards to some t-shirts, one on one of tokens, special roles in Discord, holding rewards, airdrops. So we've said they've got one coming up. A DAO, so that everyone in the community gets a vote. Metaverse access. And I know that these guys um, definitely bought at least, uh, some NFT worlds for sure. Um, I know that. Tune token rewards. Uh, so again, they're, they're in uh, project token. Exclusive merch, Toontown Private Club, in real life meetup events, holder giveaways, ETH tunes, trips, and more. So the roadmap, phase one, launching the collection, which has been done. Um, that's all been done in phase one. Phase two, enable their DAO. Current holders rewarded with airdrops, including additional tunes and ETH. Minting rewards will be deployed. Official merch store. Stage three, activate and fund the community and charity wallet. First in real life event and merch store. Phase four, yeah, the metaverse action begins. DAO voting starts, construction of Toontown in the metaverse. Holders will begin to receive Toon token, airdrop to all holders. Metaverse is launched and constitution of Toontown curated in the metaverse. And again, they're using NFT worlds for this. And then phase five, the next generation, Dijon Tunes Drop 2 is released and building a foundation for play to earn. Rare one of ones, the crew. Let's just jump on there. Okay, if we look at their Twitter while that's loading, uh, this is not their Twitter, that's one of the crew. Let's jump onto their Twitter. 38,000 joined October 2021. So if we look here, co founder of Dijon Tunes and the studio. That's a project coming soon, okay? So that can't tell us much. All Dijon tunes in the recent, which is fine, that's what they, you know, but when did he join? February 2021, so not the longest standing. Yeah, June 2021, both of them have their location as Los Angeles. Um, something we do know that he's in America or some country where they've already released the hex. Because I know in South Africa, you where I am, you can't do the hex yet. The the Twitter blue is not yet released, right? So um, yeah, I mean we can sort of narrow it down if we want to there. 
I'd love to see LinkedIn's, you know. I really, really would love to. I mean, that's Instagram. Um, just in general, I'd prefer to see it. Let's go if crew. No, that's all. That's the extent of it. So, yeah, guys, another one to have on your on your radar. That's projects that I've seen popping. Um, yesterday, Milady started popping. If that continues popping, we'll have a look at them next week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you have, please hit the like button. Um, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, subscribe with bell notifications on. You're always welcome in our Discord. And I will see you on Friday. Thank you. Keep well. Ciao.